the man with the claw! Ah! Man, I can't believe scary stories still work on me. What about you, Brandon? You got any good ones? Maybe we should just turn in. Oh, come on, man. It'd be really nice to hear a story if you've got one, Brandon. Fine. You want to be scared? I got a story. Only thing is, it's not a story. It's real. And it happened to me about two years ago, when I was still at the ad agency. I got a call from my dad. What'd he say? He asked me if I could get a coffee with his friend's son. Well, that's no big deal, right? A 22-year-old recent college grad and aspiring filmmaker. Oh! So did you do it? Yep. His name was Connor, and he had a lot to say. It's like movies these days. Everything is just a reboot, franchise, or sequel. Hollywood has no original ideas. It's always guy meets girl, girl dumps guy, guy gets back with girl. That's why when I make my movies, things are actually gonna be different. Trust me. Right. So his take was that basic. Exactly. But like he was the first person who ever said it. How long were you there? Two and a half hours. He really wanted to break down the state of the industry. CGI? Since when is every movie based on a video game? Or freaking roller coaster? It's like, hello Hollywood, can you actually make something about real people? That's why for my movies they should have a warning that plays before it that says, this movie might actually make you think. I really like talking to you. <laughs> Hold on, this is crazy. He had a backup plan, right? No, just film. Did he have any ideas? Like, did he tell you what his movies were gonna be about? Oh yeah, he had an idea. Dude, this should be a movie. Just like you and me talking about movies. That's what real life is. Then you left, right? I man? tried. But that's when he said, it. Hey, cool if I get your number? <laughs> Did he ever call you? No. No, no, no. He texted. 3D. Dude, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> Damn, that phone's so expensive. <laughs> TV is the new movie. Happy Thanksgiving, brother. There's so many. But he has to leave you alone eventually, right? I mean, he can't just keep texting you and trying to pick your brain forever. No. He stays with me. Unless I can introduce him to someone else he can talk to. That's how the curse works. You're not gonna do that, right? I'm so sorry. No. Hey, man. Eric, right? You wanna be on my podcast? We talk about classic Hollywood film. No! <laughs> <laughs>